Test one, test one, test one, test one. What is up guys and welcome back to the Life With Buzz channel. Today is a special video. Well, we've been back from Brazil for, I don't know, about a week now and we brought home some treats. So today, I'm gonna try some treats. When I say some treats, I mean some Brazilian snacks here on the Life With Buzz YouTube channel. All right, so we brought five snacks home from Brazil. When I say we, I mean Lisha and I, but she doesn't want to be in this video, so it's going to be a solo video for myself as she just films right over here. No, no. So we're going to start off with five of the snacks, and I know what you're wondering, if I looked baked, yes, I am. So that's why it was perfect for these snacks, because I am hungry like a mother Holy sh**. Pedro, I get your mug, brother. Using it every day. So the first thing that we are gonna start off with, huh? How do you say this? Trophée? Trophée? What? How do you say it? Trofeo. Trofeo. It means trophy. Trophy, trophy. And the brand, it's uh, barbecue. It looks like corn nuts to me, so I, I'm <laughs> kind of contemplating how I'm gonna like this. But it, it looks like corn nuts to me. But here we go. You're like, you're not bad. It's great. Can I get some? It's like, um, it's poofy. That's poofy. See the poofiness? That's poofy. Oh, jacking it up. So it's it's a poofy mm. kind of chip snack. One of the things that I noticed about Brazil is that the food isn't greasy. That's what I like. Not greasy like like how we have in Canada. Mmm. Mmm. I do like these. Yeah, I know. These are good. These are delicious. Mm. The second ones I'm gonna try by Trafair. Saber Momenta. So this one's this one's gonna be spicy, so very interested in this one. They look like pretzel sticks. How spicy is it? It's not bad. It looks like something you would find in like a container with some cheese whiz in there and you know, and dip it. What are those things called? Cheese and crackers? Cheese and crackers, I guess? Oh, I can't remember what those things are called. These are actually really good. They're not spicy. They do have a, a pepper taste to them. Not spicy at all. Kind of tastes like a pretzel. Pretty delicious. I enjoy these. Yo, can I have one? No, you can have them. The next treat we're going to try is a Biz Extra. A Biz <laughs> Extra. To me, it looks like a uh, white chocolate wafer. Almost like a Kit Kat. Nova, like a big like company? Or like, who's, who's Nova? Nova. Novo? Or Lacta? It means, Lacta is a company. Lacta. Novo, it, it means new, so it's something new. Ah, Biz, Ex Biz Extra's oh, new! I remember one day that I brought, like, it was little ones. Yeah. It was that one, but little oh. ones. Alright. And this is the extra. Biz Extra, here we go. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's like my parents used to buy wafers. No chocolate around them, just the, the wafers, right? Growing up, like strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, stuff like that. That's what this one is with white chocolate around it, essentially. That's all. And it's delicious. I think this is delicious. I think this would be great on ice cream. I really think. We're three for three on treats. We are three for three on treats here. The next and fourth treat on our list is pasta pep, pasta, pasta, how do you say it? <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Say it again. Pasta, 
Pasta, pasta tem, why can I say it? Pasta tempo. Yeah. Pasta tempo. Pasta tempo. It's exactly how it sounds. Yeah. It's like, pasta tempo. This is a. Uh, can I try this one with you? Can I sit down? Of course, yeah, come try it. Lige is going to finally come in gracious with her presence. The pasta tempo. Welcome to the uh, Brazilian food challenge, even though that you've been over there the whole time eating away. I've um, never tried those ones that you. So it looks like a chocolate wafer with chocolate in the middle. Hi. Shit. So the the packaging's You're all <laughs> the packaging's all crumbled and. You know I used to eat that since I was a kid, like a three-year-old. Hmm. I used to eat this when I was a kid. Oh right? yeah. Yeah. Mm. It was so good. Mm. It was better before. I don't know. No, it's not that good. It tastes like a baby cracker with, with, with chocolate in the middle. It actually tastes pretty good. And they've got these cool little... Mm, it's pretty much a baby cracker, yeah. Right? Baby cracker? they got these cool little designs on it. Not quite sure if you guys can see it. Um, but yeah, no, it's not bad. It's chocolate in between. It's it's. I say this is better than an Oreo, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That's actually really true. Your food is really good. It is good. And the fifth treat from the Brazilian snack video. And the fifth treat. We don't have anything else. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's not possible. Yeah, it's possible. Oh, no. And the fifth treat <laughs> that we have from Brazil, and the last one for this video, oh. is Anna Marie. Corvetta. Haha! <laughs> ha. I had to read it first. Anna Marie Corvetta. You said it all wrong. Can you read it again? Anna Marie. Anna Marie? Anna Mara? Anna Marie. Anna Maria. Uh, Anna Maria. Anna Maria. <laughs> Video time. Alright, so it's supposed to be a chocolate Twinkie. Mm. Oh, it's all fucked up. We're just supposed to be cold. Is that one? No. What? Is it bad? It's a wagon wheel! It's a wagon wheel! You have to spare a wagon wheel! It's a Canadian treat. It's a wagon wheel for sure. That's delicious. Mmm. <laughs> this has been the Brazilian food challenge. We haven't even done a challenge at all. No challenge. These are five foods that we bought home from Brazil. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this one. Thank you guys for watching. Brazil, you guys have the best food in the world. She's spilling tea all over the place. We're gonna clean that up and go. We'll see you next time on Life with the Buzz Show. And remember oh, no. to always be positive. Fucking be positive. Look at what I did right now.